Hello and hello, and this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech, where your geeky grandpa talks tech, tech reviews, tech solutions, and all kinds of tech. Listen, today I want to talk to you about your Mevo camera, Mevo Start, and how to connect it to OBS so that you can use it to do all kinds of production uses. I'm going to connect the OBE Mevo to my OBS, then I'm going to show you how to display Bible verses within OBS. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to output to a projector or a full screen TV for your worship service or meeting. I will also last but not least, I'm also going to have a link and have some basics information on how to use OBS to do song lyrics, just like ProPresenter. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I need that light so that this can be given to other people so they can watch it. So let's get started right now. Now the first thing you're going to do if you're going to be using your Mevo camera for direct wire, you're going to have to need to run a cable from your computer or laptop directly to the Mevo. In the back of the Mevo is a USB-C connector and run that directly into your Mevo. You don't have to do anything else but turn it on because it automatically defaults into that mode. So let me show you from the screen from that from OBS and here's our screen and what you're going to do okay is you're going to come over here and you're going to go to video capture device in a scene now I've already set this up so you create a, a video capture device you can name it if you like to and once you've done that you're going to go in there and select I'm going to make sure you see this OK the Mevo and it'll be your particular serial number you'll hit OK and from that point you should be able to see the display now there are three ways to connect your Mevo Start to OBS First thing, of course, is direct wire. The second way is wireless using the beta app, which doesn't work very well, and NDI. <clears throat> so to begin, I'm going to download the NDI app to show you how we can connect it using NDI. And uh, we'll continue from there in the three different ways of setting it up. So what you'll be doing is looking for the NBI OBS plugin search for it and try to look for the one that does not have an ad on it a lot of these a lot of places try to use get you to their site and then will send you to the other site to try to get you to get advertisements so be careful when you're uh, doing this Okay, here it is. Hmm. Now, one of the first things you'll have to do is go into the app, go into to your little symbol that looks like settings, go and find the Mevo setting and turn on NDI. All right, then we're going to go in here and we're going to select NDI source okay and we should see if it's working Mevo and there it is and we select it and boom this, this is, is the, the feed, feed from my, 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 my Mevo it's on it's my, on my side, side here so you can, can see where, where it is, is. So, so, we've, we've successfully, successfully connected, connected it. it. I'm, I'm going to turn, turn off my audio. audio. You're, You're hearing, hearing two sounds, two sounds. Uh, from the Mevo audio, audio source, source and that. that. So that works perfectly. Now, uh, we're still feeding from my Mevo source. So now, let's come back here. Now, the next thing I told you I was going to show you how to do is to add Bible verses to your OBS display. So if you're whether and this will work whether you're using the the 
Mevo Start Camera or any other video source camera, it doesn't matter, it's just going to basically be that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your search engine and you're going to type Bible Show and make sure you put net because there is something else out there that's not what you want. And here it is, and, and as you can see, let me see if I can get it to work for you a little bit better. The other thing that's really nice about the Bible Show program is that it contains multiple, multiple versions of the Bible, from the Amplified, Complete Jewish Bible, and it goes quite a bit of different Bibles. So no matter where you are right now in, in the world, you have everywhere from Croatian, and you can see that's a fantastic program. So we're going to, I'm, I'm just going to select this one just to put it in there. And we're going to put that, and we're going to use that in the program. So as you can see, when it comes up here, you have multiple Bibles, as many as you add them, chapters. You can select the book and verse and have them play. Now you can select which display. I have three displays, so and you can go from display window to including NDI, which you happen to have activated, right? And then there. Now for this example, I've got the Bible verses up. Now I'm going to show you. You open a window up for display capture. And for the second window, you put a window within the window. This is, so right now, I've got the uh, Mevo Start facing over here. Obviously, it's not facing the position that we need it to be. Then I've opened a display capture window. And from the Bible Start program, I've selected the Bible verse. And you can make this window here smaller or bigger, depending upon what you want to do. Uh, You'll have to play with the program itself and set up things the way you want it. You can have it with a window within a window, or you can have it display separately. So let's finish this last thing. So now that we've completed showing you how to do Bible Start, let's do this. I'm going to show you, like I said, how to connect your uh, using OBS connector to a TV monitors we might have several in your church or your, your presentation or whatever you happen to be using or a projector in this case I'm using a projector I'm gonna go here now what you do is go to the scene that you're going to be displaying you right click it and you'll notice that you have a, a full screen projector windowed source screenshot so I'm going to go to that and then I'm going to select my display which in, in my case in an M-Star demo I'll click that and now if you can look in behind me you can actually see I'm displaying that which is on my screen right now on the background I wanted to show you that it was working so that being done to undo it you would go this, do the same thing and go click into right click and disable it very simple, very easy to use. Let's finish up. Now, lastly, I told you I'm going to show you how to get a link to it, to set up song links uh, on OBS. Now, most churches use ProPresenter to do their displays on uh, the computer. Uh, but if you choose, you can use OBS to also do it with your all-in-one computer. Now, I um, am not able to really explain it the way, way Scott Fichter does, uh, fellow Marine. Uh, so I am going to leave you the link. Uh, and it's basically, he has a channel which he just speaks about OBS. I speaking about the Mevo. Uh, and again, his title for this is Set Up Song Lyrics in OBS Display Livestream Lyrics for Your Church. So I hope that will help you. So basically going over this, uh, connecting your Mevo to OBS is very simple. You have two, three choices. One, of course, is the wired option. Um, basically, you got to run a USB-C to whatever port on your computer you're going to be using, whether it be USB-C 
or you're going to be using a standard USB 3.0 connector. Secondly, you can also download the NDI link, which I have shown you how to install, and then from there, using NDI to your OBS, be able to display. Now, the problem with <coughs> NDI it does require a high bandwidth so if your organization or where you are right now does not have a high bandwidth in the in your Wi-Fi <clears throat> forget about it you ain't gonna do it it's not gonna happen you're gonna have all kinds of breakup so better to just do the wire now as for the OBS beta wireless okay they has been beta for a long time and they just haven't upgraded it and it just doesn't work well and I wish they would just finish it already and get it done but they haven't now lastly I showed you how to connect your projector or a TV screen directly to OBS so if you have your Mevo camera coming into your OBS and all you do is collect select the camera that you're using and then you can click on and then select whether whether it be a projector a TV screen, a monitor, full screen, half screen, right from there, and then you can just click it again and, and, and deactivate it. And of course, I've shown you how, where to find how to install song lyrics on OBS by Scott, a uh, fellow YouTuber. I'm, by the way, a wave to Scott. Thanks for fantastic uh, videos on OBS. Uh, at any rate, listen, I hope this has been helpful for you. This is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech Out. We appreciate you subscribing to the channel. We appreciate the likes. It tells Google that, hey, these are some things that people should look at. So until next time, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech Out. Um, pardon me. I just got the booster shot from, for you know what, and uh, <clears throat> I am... Uh, you hear it in my voice. At any rate, you take care now.